to me, the primary strength of the lectionary is that Christians around the world, no matter what language they're speaking, no matter what country they're in, are all reading and hearing preach the very same texts. Now, there's a power in that in bringing all these Christians from all over the world together. The lectionary text for this week includes 2 Samuel 11, 1 through 15. It involves the story of David and Bathsheba. It's one of the more well-known stories of the Bible, but also to me, one of the most troubling. David's armies are off to war. He finds himself back in the castle, back in his royal palace. And he looks out and sees a woman bathing on a rooftop. Um, and being um, a king, he takes what he wants. Uh, but he knows that this woman, Bathsheba, has a husband who's named Uriah. And David conspires against him so that he can have Bathsheba. Sends Uriah to the front lines and ensures that Uriah is killed in battle. It's a really striking exercise of power. It's a real, exer uh, real striking uh, example of corruption, of a king sitting back in comfort uh, while, while his soldiers are off on battle, and him stretching out his arm and taking what he wants. This week, Melissa Browning has written a really excellent piece on this passage, especially reflecting on how uh, the story of David and Bathsheba uh, reflects something about uh, the current situation around HIV AIDS. In this story, we see a man treating women as, as a piece of property. And that unfortunately is something that still happens in many parts of this world, both here in the United States and elsewhere. Um, as long as that continues to happen, as long as women don't have control over their own, over their own selves, uh, then this crisis of HIV and AIDS will only continue um, and will only be that much more tragic. So Melissa argues that patriarchy creates a culture uh, in which men can often take advantage of women, uh, in which women can be inflicted by these diseases uh, in a ways that, that aren't their choices, um, uh, that in a very real sense, the disease is inflicted upon them, along with um, the specter of, of sexual violence. Um, it's a really striking form of double oppression not only are you inflicted by this disease, but inflicted by the pain of having your own body violated. It's a reminder, I think, that these aren't just political problems. They're not just medical problems. But in the end, they're rooted in very deep cultural problems that we face. And if we can't extricate patriarchy from our world, and if we can't treat men and women equally and have them have the same amount of power in our cultures, uh, then these problems will only continue unabated.